Hello, I'm Lindy Smith and I simply adore colour. From as long ago as I can remember, I have been drawn to colour in all its fascinating shades and tones and combinations. Colour is all around us. It creates moods and feelings. It excites and inspires. And as a designer, I love experimenting with new colour and colour combinations. However, I know from all my years of teaching cake decorating that many of you find choosing colours for your cakes both confusing and difficult. So this is why I've written my new book, Creative Colour for Cake Decorating, to try and demystify the art of mixing and selecting colours, to give everyone the confidence they need to use colours in new and exciting ways. My book covers a lot of material, including a whole section on colour theory, but I'm going to dive straight in and explain how colour inspirations work by showing you how to create these lovely bird-inspired cupcakes. So how do I choose my colours? Well, the colours I choose for a cake can be inspired from literally anywhere the iridescent colours of a butterfly's wing, the subtle colours of a delicate flower petal, the experimental colours from a piece of high street fashion clothing, or like here, the complementary colours of a pretty birthday card. So first of all, I'm kneading the sugar paste. Placed on my board, I've got some five mil spacers here, and that ensures that when I roll out my paste, it's all the same thickness. One of the secrets of rolling out paste successfully is to keep picking it up so that it doesn't stick to your work surface. Okay, the first thing to do is to take the circle cutter and cut out the circle that fits the top of your cupcake. So check beforehand what size cutter you need to fit your cupcake. Then you're going to take the stencil and position it so that you like the pattern. Now I'm going to collect my royal icing, which I've coloured earlier. And what I've done here is I've coloured it a little bit darker than the sugar paste that I'm using. Now you need to adjust the consistency of the icing. You don't want it too firm so that it won't spread very well and you don't want it too soft so it seeps underneath the stencil. So I'm going to load the back of my uh, palette knife and I'm just going to swipe it across the stencil like that. I'm then going to lift the stencil and I'm going to take away the excess sugar paste. Now what you can see around the edge here is a little um, area of icing which, where I pulled it up. So you can take a damp paintbrush and just knock these back while the icing's still wet. The next thing to do is to take your cupcake and a clean palette knife, swipe it underneath, pick it up and just place it on your cupcake. Now don't be tempted to touch it at this stage because the icing on top is still wet. In the meantime what I'm going to do is cut out the bird. So again I'm kneading the paste and I'm going to roll out this time between one mil uh, spacers. And what I've found from years of practice actually it, when you've got a nice clean um, stainless steel cutter like this is to get a really nice shape. You pick the paste up you place it on top and roll over it. And then, to get rid of any feathering, you just run your finger round the outside, like that, and then take a dry paintbrush, turn the cutter over, and press out the shape, like so. The icing on this cupcake is now dry enough for me to touch it, so what I'm going to do is just press it down. This just gives it the edge, a nice curved finish. And then all I need to do is lift the bird, get a little bit of water on the back of the brush, and I'm going to decide which way I want him flying. I think that'll be nice. Pop it on. Well, I hope I've inspired you and that you feel you'd like to know a little bit more about the fascinating world of colour.